Welcome back to the big show here. We're ready to go on and talk about property values, okay. the properties of computer f drives. Drives at the first okay. level. Then folders, folders, and then files. And we talked about that in our first show. That's how computers are organized, like yeah. a filing cabinet, right? It really is. It's the, like something within something. Right. So how would you know to open a filing cabinet? That's pretty easy. You slide the drawer open and you pull out the document you want. How do you explore a computer in, in the same kind of way? Well, you know, you talked about it uh, past couple shows where we started at the desktop. And the desktop is really where the exploring starts. Those are the programs you use right away. They're right on the desktop for you. So you've already started exploring to a small extent. But we're going to look at two programs that are commonly used on the Windows platform. And you start both of these from the desktop. So we'll look at the computer right now and take a look at the uh, desktop on it. Right, remember, Most the desktop is just like your regular desktop mm -hmm. on your computer. You've got the stuff you work on all the time out there on your desk. Up here we've got my computer. Very common place. This is where most people will start. Right. And uh, if I double click on it. It's kind of a silly name, you know, but it really, again, it's a folder. Yeah. Right? It's really, it's, it's the folder in the mm -hmm. computer that has all the things about your computer. Now let's talk a little bit about what we see up here, Lee. Well, you see the, the, the drives at this level because it right. always starts at the top level. Right. Now disk is the same as a drive, right? Mm-hmm. Well, actually, more than that, memory sticks, the uh, flash drives, they count too. Right, I see one there called Dell Drive. It's mm -hmm. an E drive. That's actually your little flash drive that's inside, the, that's yeah. actually plugged into the computer, and you can take your files around with you. Now, something you can do from this location that you can't do from Windows Explorer as easily is that you, you can format drives here, and you can uh, move around to like the control panel easily. You You're see this over here. Frightening me. Format yeah. stands for frightening. Yeah. Format yeah. means you wipe your disk completely clean, yeah. and so you can start over. That's something you want to do very often. If you start over, you need all the CDs, all the disks, and everything for your computer. And a lot of time in the box, and a lot of time. Right. So format is not something you want to do. But if you ever well, I'm glad had you to, mentioned it anyway. But if you want to erase something on a thumb drive, it's not so bad. You okay. Can format that. Right, right, right. So these are your drives, and, mm -hmm. and they have names, and they yeah. have uh, a letter designation uh, on the Windows platform, uh, local disk. Your main hard drive is typically almost always the C drive, right? And if we double-click on it, oh, okay. we get down on it. This is a very common place that people look at, and they say, you know, I don't really like the way I see that. You get different views by clicking this. Ah, and I like to change these too sometimes. This is really helpful if you've got a bunch of documents and you've worked on them, mm -hmm. um, and, but you can't remember. I mean, you know you did it yesterday. Yeah. You worked on that file yesterday, but you're not seeing it in the window for some reason. Maybe well, you got too many files. What you and I like to go to is the details. Right. If I click on details, now I have a sortable list. So if I want to see my files dated uh, or by the date when they were worked on last, mm -hmm. I, I can click on, that. click on date modified. And if you click on actually the date modified, it resorts it. For, so oldest to newest or newest to right. oldest. Switch them around and with just a click. Right. The other thing that's really nice here, again, is to do things like chain, uh, uh, look at the type. So you see file folders there. And again, we're all about properties today. Mm -hmm. So it's telling us under type, those are the those are the types of files that they are, the properties of the files, the basic properties. Now, as we progress in the show, we'll get to some more advanced things. Right. And we'll talk about some details that you can do in here. Uh, probably the biggest one is, if you look at this, you see no file extensions. Uh-huh. And there, there's a way that you have to go in and turn all that on. We're going to talk about that today, because no, a file that's... extension is, we talked about in the first show, the, yeah. the three letters that follow the dot in a file name. Or four of Sometimes some files, four. Yeah. All right. Just to keep Especially the new office. Especially the new office. So yeah. that's our C drive. Mm -hmm. And I would imagine that all the program files for um, that run the computer are in that folder called Windows. No, they're actually, well, for Windows, yeah. yeah. Program so files are out. Elsewhere. If you're a novice user, Lee, do you think you've, that you should be changing settings or deleting files in your Windows folder? If you're a relatively new user, if you're an experienced user, you rarely have a reason no, to go really, into the Windows folder. No. I'm thinking, I don't know the last time I went into the Windows folder. I can't remember one, a time either. I mean, it's been years and years. It used to be you had to go in there and mess around, but yeah. not anymore. And in program files, naturally, you can see okay. your programs. Program files, and again, you see folders for the different applications that have been installed on the computer. So you've got one there for Google, another one for Adobe. You've got one for iTunes, mm -hmm. iPod. And, and those are going to be named after the programs that you've installed. 
actually the, uh, the when you do the installation, it names the folders. That's good. You don't get to control that. And if you change those names, you can have problems. Right. So don't mess with this stuff. Okay. So basically, that's drives. Now, we talked about another program that you can use. We're right. going to go down here to the Start button. Okay. And instead of uh, clicking, I'm going to right-click on it. All right. Right-click with the right mouse button. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to click the word Explore. Sounds easy. And when I do it, I get this double column view. Ah, I see. Now, so what we see here is... Instead of everything just open in one window, you've got a split. Now, explain to me what that means. What that well, split the nice is. thing about this is, let's say I went in here and, uh, well, let me go down here to my Dell drive. We were talking about that earlier. And uh, over here we have some pictures, and we actually have the slide presentation we started out with. Right. And that was this one right here. I could take that, and all I have to do is I can just drag that right over here. Oh, wow. And I can put that on my desktop by... Just dropping out there, and uh, let me close this for a minute, and I'll show you. Right there, it is. There it is. So you didn't actually put it here on the desktop. You actually went to Windows Explorer. I'm sorry, Windows Explorer. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then you dragged it from the drive and dropped it into a different location. And that's a phrase we hear a lot: drag and drop. Mm -hmm. You just drag it. Now, how do you drag? I don't. I don't. Yeah, that's a good question. Uh, I'll tell you what. When we come back. Let's bring that up, and uh, we'll okay. look at a couple other features on this. So, Very good. We're going to be right back on Computers for the Completely Clueless.